Welcome back everyone, welcome back after a long time to Let's Play American Truck Simulator. I thought I would just do uh, a few more episodes of this because it is very relaxing for me and uh, I like playing the game and we haven't done so in a while because, well, the game has been updated and it's completely changed the sound uh, system which meant that my uh, sound mod was incompatible. I've already posted a video, as you can see, without commentary, and <laughs> I, I wanted it to be an experiment, and everyone just said, I like you talking, I like your commentary, which is, well, it's bizarre to me because I just babble incoherently most of the time, but there you go. So anyway, you might notice that I'm in the middle of a, of a um, transport, Let's keep going, and I'll uh, explain what's what. <coughs> we'll we'll also see if Let's go. this is going to be too loud. Oh yeah, I'm pretty heavy, I believe. How much do we have? Uh, oops, looking. Uh, how much do we have? Forty-two tons. Okay. I love the sounds. So anyway, uh, the reason why I'm in the middle of the road because I usually like to park up and do stuff. I think I've just gotten fuel here. Is that, uh, well, my game has started crashing. And at first I thought, oh, you know, it's just mods. So I started disabling the mods and such, but it it still kept crashing, so I was, I was wondering what the heck is going on, but I've started connecting some dots, and I think it started in, like, Jan... Well, December, when I got Cyberpunk 2077, and it was crashing a whole lot. It, it was actually crashing so much, I was not able to properly play the game uh, for more than, like, I don't know, five minutes, so... I didn't play it for, I think, two weeks after release because I thought, well, this game is buggy as hell. They'll just have to patch it, you know? Uh, oh, that sound of the brakes. Love it. Um, actually, let me go to seven, uh, eight, low, sorry. Um, yeah. You know, I had loads of problems. But then I also had problems with Everspace 2 crashing. I had problems with Valheim crashing problems with Outriders, problems with American Truck Simulator, with Satisfactory, um, I think there's a couple, oh yeah, Divinity 2, uh, with the editor, with the Game Master editor, uh, you know, st things started just crashing, and they all crashed in the same way, so I thought, well, I guess it's drivers, so I did a completely clean install of drivers, I always try to keep my graphics drivers updated, and the thing is, it was never doing this before. I've never, you know, I don't put really weird stuff on my computer. Let me actually get to... Oh, come on. Power! So, long story short, before I start babbling way too much, which I suppose is kind of the point of this relaxing game, is that I think my graphics card is developing some problems. It, it doesn't have any artifacting or anything of the sort, but it appears to be developing some problems. It's a it's a factory overclocked card, which I have never overclocked myself. Um, and you know, has has run fine for three and a half years almost. Well, three and a quarter, let's say, and then it started developing these weird problems. And at first, like I said, I thought it was drivers. I thought, well, first I thought it was just games being buggy. Uh, drivers, some combination of drivers and hardware. That, you know, the, the games would optimize and patch for computers like mine. But, nope. It appears it's my graphics card. And uh, it appears that what I usually had to do to, s to prevent crashing is lower some, some of the graphical settings, for example. And... Uh, Excuse me. And uh, cab the frames at like, I don't know, for example, 50 frames per second instead of 60. Uh, you know, even though the graphics card is completely capable of doing much more because it usually runs at like 40% load. What was that maneuver? What was that maneuver? I'm gonna just move over because this guy's 
yeah, doing really weird stuff. Oh yeah, Go the straight. the horn with this uh, engine mod, sound mod is fantastic. You want to hear it? Hold on, because it's gonna get loud. Be ready. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so, anyway. Yeah, I thought it was all, you know, just games and drivers and this and that. But, no. It is my card. So now I've uh, started collecting information because I, fortunately, when I got this card, I uh, registered it. And, uh, which meant that I didn't get three years warranty, I got four years warranty. So I'm still good for around six months, seven months warranty. Uh, so <laughs> I think that's the first time in my life that an extended warranty is actually helping me. Because usually what it means is that you get extended warranty and your stuff breaks one month after the extended warranty expires. But yeah, now I'm actually in the warranty thing. I'm just worried that uh, if... If I do send it over back to Gigabyte, uh, they have this long convoluted process where they have to test it in the lab to see if they can reproduce the problems. And of course, with my luck, you know that means they will not be able to reproduce it. Even though, the more I think about it, of oh, the problem, the more I think it will, uh oh, it will be reproduced. Uh, because what happens is right now, even though American Truck Simulator tended to crash at times as well, I am now uh, running... I am underclocking the core. Some retarder. On. I'm underclocking the core. Ugh. I can't keep right now. Yeah, I, I can move right, dude. God. Oh, voila. Shit. Sorry about that. Anyway, I haven't played in such a long time, I kind of... I kind of forget what I'm doing. Now, this is usually the case where uh, American trucks would uh, put their hazards on. <coughs> a maneuver that I do not agree with because then you're out of options to actually really signify to other drivers that there is some impending danger. And I know, I know, a slow truck is an impending danger in a way, but what if you have to actually come to a complete stop because something has happened up on the road, you know? What are you gonna do then? You can't put more hazards on because you've already put them on. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, what happens is I am underclocking the graphics card now by 20 megahertz. Now it doesn't seem like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, that's about a 1.12% performance loss that I have to run at now, just to make sure that the graphics card doesn't crash. And I actually don't know yet if it won't crash. Um, so far, it's been all right with this, with uh, underclocking it like this. But the point is not really, you know, you might say, oh, well, what, what's the point in RMAing the car? You know, it's too much trouble. Just underclock it by 20% and that's it. And I would normally agree. I actually thought about that. Do I really want to get through all of the, you know, return hell and probably being without a card for like a month until they figure it out and then send me a refurbished one that might be even worse than mine or, or you know, something else. And with this market of cards with all these Bitcoin bastards. There's no other way of going around it. I think Bitcoin is the absolute dreck of, of everything because of all the useless calculations that have to be done and so much world's, of the world's power being used, used on that. It's not even like a scientific calculation. It's just wasted, literally wasted energy. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, because of this Bitcoin stuff, there's apparently there's bots online that are instantly buying all the available cards that are on the market. So yeah, buying a new card, I actually went to EVGA's site and I, w I was looking for 30 series cards, out of stock, all of them. 20 series cards, out of stock. 10 series, out of stock. 
seven hundreds out of stock. Everything, every graphics card is out of stock. It is insane. I have never seen that before. So anyway, that complicates matters. You know, what am I going to do? I mean, obviously, if Gigabyte does see a fault and they cannot repair or replace the card because it is a ten series, so it's fairly old by now. I'm kind of secretly hoping they would give me like a at least a 20 series, if not a 30 series, but I seriously doubt they would do a 30 series. Um, you know, that would be okay, but I don't know. I mean, I have a bad feeling about it. But the thing is, let me get back to the point about why would I bother sending the card back for RMA? Um, well, the thing is, I, I could probably live with 1.2% performance loss if it means that the card is stable. You know, even though it, 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 it kind of isn't fair, it was a very expensive card that I paid good money for, and I'm after three years I will not be getting the full performance. That's just silly. Not to mention, this card comes with software that lets you overclock it, and it does not wo void warranty. You know, and I have never, ever overclocked my graphics card. In fact, I don't think I have ever clocked any of my hardware, ever. So anyway, that's beside the point, but the thing is, if it has developed over the past three years, this weird fault, where it just, it basically shuts the card down, and I haven't changed the PSU, the PSU is excellent and way more power than I need for it. Uh, I've checked the uh, connector pins, they're good, uh, they're coming straight out of the PSU and are meant for powerful graphics card uh, power, you know, delivering power. Those cables are meant for that. They're 8-pin uh, PCIe power connectors. So that's not the problem. Um, but yeah, if, it, if it's developed a fault like that, who knows? If I underclock it now and just say, okay, fine, I'll just run it underclocked, who knows what fault it might develop further, you know, after the warranty has expired. It might suddenly decide, oh, I don't know, uh, suddenly I have to underclock it by 100 megahertz. And that's, that's, that would be eating into the, perf into the performance uh, quite a bit already. So, you know, I'm sort of between a rock and a hard place right now. Because one, I don't want to keep using it while I still have warranty. I mean, keep using it. I don't want to not send it back while I have warranty. Because, uh... Like I said, it might develop other faults. But on the other hand, <laughs> the market is just so horrendous right now. I have no chance in hell of getting a new card. Because the thing I was thinking of was... In worst case scenario, I would just go and buy a new card myself. Because I, I do have a feeling that returning it to Gigabyte will take at least, at the minimum, a couple of weeks. And being without a proper graphics card a couple of weeks, I think I do have an old one somewhere, but I don't know. Um, but I, I can't. I cannot buy it. I, I did go to EVGA and uh, to their site and I did uh, click the auto-notify thing so it lets me know when the cards will be available. But as far as I understand it, this is just an automated email that will be sent to me when the cards are available. It's not an actually it's not actually going into a queue to buy the game. So in essence, that is useless. Because what that basically means is I'll be notified when the cards have been made available and then instantly out of stock because all the bots have bought them. I'm pretty sure that's how it's gonna work. As soon as they're available, the bots will be the bots will be just all over that. Oh wow, this guy actually went back into the driving lane. I am surprised. I see so many people in the US just hogging the left lanes. It it drives me absolutely nuts. And I know there's uh the rules vary state by state, but in a lot of states I do believe that there is a rule that the left lanes are used for passing only. 
Uh, so you're not allowed to actually stay on the left lanes to drive. But, you know, a lot of people do. And then you have all these people on, on the internet saying, Oh, but if I go the speed limit, you have no right. I can stay in my lane because nobody is allowed to pass me. Eh, well, that's not true. Then you're still breaking the law, along with the guy who's speeding. Anyway. The world is becoming a scary place with, uh, with the alternate opinions and facts and, and all that stuff. It's just, yeah. Better not to think about it right now. Or better not to think about it at all, but then you're, you're just sort of putting your head in the sand, hiding yourself, pretending nothing's happening, blissfully blind, but that's not going to fix the world either, so and I, I kind of I kind of doubt the world is fixable at this point. Well, I suppose it is, because uh, we as a civilization, Western civilization, is going to... Uh, just sort of fizzle out, I think, because we're going to destroy ourselves from the inside while the others pick up the pace. No, well, anyway, I'm not gonna hear, uh, I'm not gonna be talking politics. I'm tailgating this guy. Uh, I always say, no politics on my channel, please, and then I sort of start scraping the barrel of the politics. I'm trying to still overtake this guy, but I think he's gonna go left. Come on, power, power, before he goes left. Uh. I think we're too close now for him to go left. Oh. Phew. He's tailgating that guy really badly. So anyway, yeah, that's my story with the graphics card. So I suppose I should really apologize to uh, Cyberpunk in a way because I thought it was so badly coded that it was just crashing all the time, which which was kind of weird because for my cousin, for example, it wasn't crashing at all. For uh, Jasmine, it wasn't crashing much anyway. Um, I mean, you know, the game is still buggy and and such, but go straight. are you gonna go back into the right lane? No, because I'm gonna undertake you. What are you doing, man? You drive a truck. Get back into the right lane. <laughs> flipping asleep at the wheel. Anyway. Oh, well now he's gonna speed up. Oh, no, nope, he actually went back to the right lane. Good. I also shouldn't try to play police on the, on the roads. I, d I don't, but it just, you know, don't get the wrong idea. I don't pretend to be police or anything, but I just, sometimes I cannot help myself but honk at someone that uh, that is doing something really just crazy on the road or silly because I do like to stick to the rules I don't like to I don't like to speed I don't like to break rules and such but well, anyway I'm not perfect I'm not claiming to be just pet peeves I suppose in a way, just like other people probably have pet peeves about what I do. <laughs> I conk at them for being in the left lane. <laughs> uh oh, way station. Are we gonna get weighed? We, we are probably going to get weighed. You've discovered a new waypoint. Oh, viewpoint. Sorry, not waypoint. I'm thinking divinity. Okay, let's see. Probably gonna have to slow down in a hurry. I wish the scan was... Uh, was closer. There it is. There's a pole that will scan us. Yeah, of course. Oh, we're so heavy. Have to slow down. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. Let's find a new route. Love the sound of this engine. Slow down! Ah. Look at that! Huh? 
That was pretty good. Hey, man. Okay. 66 tons. Oh, yeah. Do you hear that uh, turbo sound after I let off the, the whoosh? <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Power! Where does that go? Oh, it goes around. Power. Alright. Let's get back on the road. I hate these on ramps because they give you zero space. And if there's a lot of traffic, traffic on the on ramp will just stop. And that's it. I don't really think that's how on ramps work in the US. They don't work like that in Europe, that's for sure. Power! I do really do enjoy pulling heavy stuff, like I've said many, many times, just because you have to really struggle to uh, accelerate, and you have to think about when you'll start braking because you're so heavy. And in fact, there's a couple of hills here and there that I've driven on now that really shine because you have to really struggle uphill, and then you actually have to use your exhaust brake uh, downhill practically all the time. Oh yeah, with this new sound system they've added. What is that up there? Some sort of a monument. Uh, with this mon uh, sound system they added, you also get nice reverb and uh, tunnels and such. So if you use the exhaust brake in the tunnels, oh yeah. What is that up there? Some kind of an old bunker and something else. I don't quite see what. Power! My instant consumption is 3, my average is 5.2, lovely. <laughs> there we go. Exit 26. Going a bit fast on this corner, but that's okay. I'm getting up to speed finally because of this little downhill here. There we go, let's go to cruise control. In fact, let's go to 8 high, so we get a slight little bit of extra mileage, or better fuel consumption. I'm still using plenty of mods now, <coughs> I've turned the Mac on, the graphics one and such, um, because, well, I, like I said before, I thought they were the cause of the game crashing, which now I know is not the case. It is a graphics card, and so far it's been uh, going okay. I cannot believe that a meager 20 megahertz underclock has already done the trick, it seems. It really makes me wary of sending the card back for repair. Actually, it's 75 here. Probably don't want to necessarily go that fast, but we're going to go a little bit faster. Ah, I'll just go to 75. You're gonna try to overtake the truck now? Uh-oh, there's a hill. I always start overtaking when there's a hill. <laughs> oh, not a good idea. Because now I'll be stuck with this truck over here. I like the sounds. And I do really love this sound mod. It actually doesn't just change the sounds, it adds a bunch of Cummins engines, engines you can buy. Uh, very much underpriced, I would say. Because it also offers more powerful ones. I do wish the, um, the guy doing the mod would be uh, upping the prices. Because this is the second most powerful one engine. Because it was the closest to the stock game engine that I had, I mean stock engine, to the most powerful Cummins that I had with unmodded engines. Um, this one has slightly less torque, but slightly more power. So, in a sense, I'm getting a little less than before, because they don't have 
the torque but like I said it's a small difference and I didn't want to this one is called the tuned version and I didn't want to get the chip so-called chip tuned version as an ECU reprogrammed I suppose because that one is again very cheap but actually a lot more powerful than this one and you know when you don't even have to struggle uphill and such, what's the point? I like the struggle. I do like these sounds though. If you're wondering why everything is so loud, come on man, put your foot down. Oh, come on. I really shouldn't be honking. Oh, come on! Now, if this was real, this guy would probably start brake checking me, so I would never be doing this in real life, but... There you go. Oh, well. Oh. Road rage is never a good, a good thing. Never an answer, don't do it. 65, okay. I like the um, the turbo whistle was much uh, was more to my liking than the previous mod, but this engine sound mod sounds better. I think, especially the uh, the brakes, the exhaust brakes are so good. Let me just check something. No, that still doesn't make a difference. It's very weird, I don't know when I have my lights on anymore, that's why I got a, a ticket last time I drove, because they didn't apparently had my lights on. I've removed the, uh, the lighting mod that I had, the realistic lights and the police lights, because that one is definitely bugged. It, it lights everything up so bad, it's ridiculous. If I turn this one on, uh, the beacons, you can even see them now, do you see that blinking? That's my beacons on. Uh, the beacons are also bugged, so the... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! We're actually gonna have to go here! Oh dear! I need to slow down! Slow down! Come on! I gotta slow down! I gotta use my brakes! Oof. A bit too fast, but there you go. Where do we go? To the right there. Okay. Go straight. What? Oh! Oh, it's over there. Okay. lower gear, that's okay. <sighs> Darn it. Oh, whoa, 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 what am I doing? Third, not first. Right. Then turn right. Okay, sorry guys, but I need to go right here. Turn right. Just gonna take it wide. Yeah, thanks, thanks. BMW X6! Flippin' hell. Oh, I need to go left here. This is gonna be great. It's all over. Oh now. god, I do hate these because this is one of those trailers that is just a complete bastard to park. Yeah, this is gonna be just great. <sighs> this isn't gonna work. No no no. I hate these. And then that thing at the back starts wriggling like a snake. It's just horrendous. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I think I'm just gonna have to do something weird. Jackknife it completely. Let's see if I can do that. And then start again. With these large trailers, 
a lot of the times it's not a problem because you come in and park it but sometimes they give you a really ridiculous thing like this where you have to turn see how I'm jackknifing it already you have to turn in with obstacles and then Im immediately there's your parking it's just ridiculous yeah great now that as well it's not gonna bother me though so I'm gonna have to really come wide use all of the space I'll have so you know what I'm gonna have to do something completely illegal I suppose and just use this here to turn around oh no there's uh, the, oh, oh that's gonna be great oh ow. not great That guy's putting. Okay, you go. Fine, fine. You're in a hurry. I would put my beacons on and everything, but. Okay, now we're gonna take it as wide as possible. <sighs> I do hate this very much. Okay. to do it like this. I don't know if it's gonna work. If not, I'll just stop the video and try again. Uh, this might work. I don't know, should I go into the spot immediately? I'll have to because it's so small. Yeah, I think this, this might actually work. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I think this will work. Wasn't pretty. But we did it! Yeah! Whew! There we go. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Okay, not leveled yet, right? Oh, no, we did level. Excellent. Excellent. So we can get more just in time delivery. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this, even though I know. A lot of people aren't really watching this, but I have a lot of fun with this. It's very relaxing, very nice, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.